In the next few video tutorials, you can learn how to prepare the layouts for printing. For creating layouts, you must switch to the Layout Editor tab. You are now in a completely different part of Alplan. First important thing here is the layout structure, which you can access by double left mouse click somewhere on an empty space. You have 9999 layouts available here. And you can also organize them in the subfolders, the same you did with the building structure. Rename the layout 1 to Plan View Ground Floor. In the title bar you can always see in which layout you are in and the name of that layout. Go to Page Setup command. Here you can choose the paper format from the drop-down menu. Or you can specify your own user-defined format by defining the width and the height of the paper. Choose the landscape orientation. You can choose if you want to include the margins. If you choose the option with margins, you can set them on each of the sides. For now, set the without option because we can insert the layout border in the properties section. Here you can choose the border type from the drop-down menu. Each type is automatically shown on the paper on the right. Below you have the settings for border pen and line type for each of the different line segments. Click close to return to the main page settings. In the title block section you can choose the label option. This way the new window opens with Alplan standard layout label library from which you can choose the one you want. In the default folder there are two subfolders 7 and 8 from which you can choose the desired label. Have in mind that you can create your own labels and save them as template for future use. The title block is positioned in the lower right corner with offset to right and bottom of 5 mm, which you can change here. You can also choose the background for your layouts here. You will learn how to fill out all the sections of the title block in one of the following video tutorials. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video tutorial.